In this video, we're going to talk about access modifiers in Java. In your beginning program days in Java, you're used to using two different modifiers, public and private. And you've used these modifiers in front of variable names, in front of methods, and also in front of class definitions. In this video, we'll briefly discuss the differences between public and private, but we're also going to talk about two other modifiers that are less familiar in Java called protected and default. So to understand when you should use each of these four, let's have a simple uh, look at a, uh, a simple class that we've put together called a dog class. And we've only assigned one attribute to the dog, which is going to be its name. We've got a constructor and we've got a get name function. Now, in 90% of your programming uh, in the future and as well as in the past, you're going to be assigning the private keyword to your data and the public keyword to your methods. Uh, but there are some cases where you might want to use a, a public here for a variable name, specifically when it is not a variable, but when it's a constant. So for example, I could go uh, public static string uh, owner. something like this. And here it's safe to use public in the modifier space because uh, no one can change this, uh, this variable, so it's safe to do so. Uh, just because it's a constant, that doesn't necessarily mean it should be public. For example, if you didn't want anyone to know the value of this field outside of this class, it would make sense for this to still be private. Okay, uh, let's go and look at some of the other keywords that are uh, available here as access modifiers instead of private and public. Uh, I've got a couple of other classes here. Here is a test class, and uh, what I've done here is I've created a dog, and I'm trying to print its name, but instead of using the getName method, I'm trying to access the name field directly, and you can see that this creates a compiler error because it says that name has private access in the dog class. You can see that the name pr pr property is private. Uh, so one way we could change that is we could make it public. And now you'll see that this error will go away. Uh, this is not a good practice because you can see once you make your data public, you lose all the properties of data encapsulation in object-oriented programming. So I'm going to talk about a couple of other options. One is that you could make this um, default. And what, what that means is that you could have uh, no modifier here at all. And when you do that, uh, it becomes what's known as the default access modifier. And default, if we go back to the original picture that we were showing here, you'll see that default will uh, allow you to access the package, uh, sorry, access the, the, the variable if it's in the same package. Now, what is a package? Here, I've got a package definition for the dog class, and I put the exact same package definition in for the runner. Uh, you can think of a package is as a directory or a file, uh, a folder like this. Uh, inside that folder, there will typically be a bunch of classes that are housed that are meant to work together. So by assigning the same package name to the dog and the dog runner, and then using the default uh, uh, modifier here, which is no modifier at all, uh, I'm able to give this runner access to this name variable, and you can see the compiler error is gone now. So that's one possibility. Uh, it is also popular to use this default access when you are in a coding competition and you want to save time and you don't want to have to create getters and setters for your properties. And so just by leaving out the modifier name, you can get... Um, access to those variables in the other classes that are in the same folder. Okay, uh, the other time where it is useful to use this uh, default uh, access is uh, if you have a class inside another class, which <clears throat> is kind of an advanced concept. 
if, if you're just uh, starting your Java journey now, you may not have seen this, but let me just show you. You might, for example, have some sort of a container class inside here. Uh, I'm going to call this class node. Uh, and inside here, there might be a dog held in here, uh, dog x, and maybe another, uh, maybe it points to another node if you're going to use this to build some sort of a link list or something. Now here you notice that dog x and node next are both using the default modifiers. And in fact, the class itself is using a default modifier. What's happening here is I put this class inside this other class and the idea is that in here, I might wanna create nodes and use them like that. And uh, when I wanna get access to these fields inside this node y, I don't want to have to bother with using getters and setters. So this is another safe environment for, in which to use the, the default modifier, access modifier. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to talk about the last one, which is called protected. And protected is something that we can use here. And what will happen when we use protected is that not only can the dog class access the name field directly, but anything that derives from the dog or shares the same package as the dog uh, will be able to access it as well. So here I've got another class called underdog, which extends dog, it inherits from dog. And here you can see there's no uh, compiler error. It is able to access the dog's uh, name variable because it is protected here and since we are inheriting from the dog we have direct access to it right here. Notice that in the dog runner I am still able to access the name variable here as well because as you can see from this chart uh, the, the protected gives you access for uh, inheritance and it also gives you access if you share the same package name. So that in a nutshell is the four access modifiers in Java.